the explosion of electronically stored information in this country lends itself very naturally to data science because it becomes the differentiator. Three and a half billion dollars is just the legal industry. If you think about stepping back from that out into a variety of different industries, I couldn't even begin to imagine how big the market is for data science. Every business today is a technology business, and by definition is a data business. Data has become the new currency. What can we do about it? Any and every device now is computer-based. We can measure more things than we ever have been able to. Myself as an example, I get up in the morning and I hit my alarm clock, I stand on my scale, and get in my car and I take off for breakfast, I use a credit card on take it, take the Fitbit, drop my kids off at school, in and on Facebook. Take that and multiply it by the population, and you can see how we're creating a significant amount of data. The point behind all of it is taking the information that, that you can collect and that you can store and transforming that into business value. The ROI project that we received the funding for basically says we collect data from any and all sources, then anybody from any place can access the data sets that are residing not in one place, but at these diverse institutions, and in this case, UC Charlotte, NC State, Renzi Institution at Chapel Hill. All of our individual storage locations are now accessible from one to the other on the cloud-based infrastructure. We want people to be able to access the data sets. We want them to be able to store their own data sets and collections. The researchers are now able to start using and taking advantage of that to perform the analytics on the same computers as where the data lives. The second element is that we want to encourage projects that use the data that we collect and the platform that we put in place that will help companies reduce risk that they are exposed to so that we are more responsive to their needs. We see that there's an extreme lack of data scientists out there. One of the ways that we've started addressing that is to use these particular projects as on-the-job training, what we consider internship projects. For example, in the marketplace, this ability to process data allows us to look at millions of credit card transactions and understand which ones are potentially fraudulent. We can look at tweets and see where the sentiment of the population is on any one subject. Now we can track the movement of epidemics on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. How do we minimize our risk? You can do that with data. So we've got the infrastructure, we've trained the students, we're doing the interesting projects, and so now when we start to collaborate with the industries and the companies, we have the resources that they need for that. This gives companies in North Carolina a leg up because they get to understand how to do big data in partnership with us. And that's all because of the ROI funds. Now, there are companies like mine who have come to this area because of that reputation of being an up-and-coming technology and data science hub. North Carolina right now, with these investments, is at the forefront, but it, it has to define that as its priority from now on. North Carolina has this opportunity at a high level to become one of those locations when people think of, where do I go to do big data analytics? Let's go to North Carolina.